All right, boys. Well, we're up pretty high. Could take hours to get down. Ooh. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another video. Here today, we have the newest maintenance. It is officially out and it's pretty cool, right? We've been waiting for this. We've been expecting this, practically speaking. We knew what was about to come out. It is, in fact, a 6-8 update preview and maintenance notice. I hope you guys are ready for this. Let's have some fun with it. If you're new to the channel, consider leaving a like. It does help out a ton. And consider subscribing. Both of those things help out massively. Thank you again for all the support. You guys really are legendary. On this video, if you guys are hyped up for this update, let's go for a solid 333 likes. If you guys can crack that, you're pretty insane. <laughs> But no further delay though, let's jump into it. We have a new character, okay? And it's regular timing for uh, the update, I guess you could say. Regular time, 10 p.m. PET, which is about like 1 a.m. for me. So uh, I will see if I stream this uh, the night of. Probably I will stream it at the point of the day after, right? So be ready for that. We're gonna see how my luck goes on the Excalibur Arthur banner. I really wanna summon on it just because, you know, it, Excalibur Arthur helps out so much with Bond. Overall, a very, very spicy unit, very, very strong unit. His passive is amazing. He helps out a human meta. It's up to you. It's up to you, right? If you want to summon on this, you can. I will make a full decision. If you can, if you can't, whatever. I do have things planned for you guys. Don't worry. Tomorrow's videos are going to be really, really stacked out and very, very helpful. Just so you know, for anyone that hasn't uh, already found out about this, it's guaranteed at step 10, okay? With that being said, you only got to spend about 242 gems to go and acquire Arthur, which is, again, a very cheap banner, right? It's very, very worth it, I guess. And if you do get lucky enough to pull Valenti Mark II on the side, it's a very, very good banner for that reason, right? Uh, right here are the skills. I think most of us know what he does and how he is built and what his kit is looking like. We have new events right now with Final Boss King, and he is back with Legend Difficulty, okay? With that being said, JP has not had another Legend Difficulty Final Boss, I think, till now. So this is the only Legend Difficulty we have. And when I say it now, it is pretty, pretty difficult. It will require you a little bit of uh, a little bit of tries, a few tries, a lot of stamina, and it could end up where you don't even win it. I did I did see a lot of people talk about this on JP how hard it was, but overall it should be a little bit easier for those end game players. I will say that now. If you're starting off new, there's a lot of new people uh, watching my videos. So first of all, welcome to the game. It will take a little bit to beat this one. Do not get discouraged if you can. Right now, a lot of people couldn't even beat uh, Final Boss Malaskula because of like the the reason you had to place top 50% for her costume. Uh, a lot of you guys might need help with that, so I might be able to help you with one quick team tomorrow uh, just to get that final score. I will comment it down below if I can, so be ready for that. We also have Glo uh, Gloom, Kellic, and Lamek. Bro, what the fudge are these names? Special event boss battle. We also have Ghost Leg event, which is pretty cool. Final boss king at Legend Difficulty is here with Growth Events, uh, Legend Difficulty, the uh, Exchange Shop, Ghost Leg event, and they changed the Daily Task Rewards event, right? So, it looks like we have boosted dailies. Pog? Pog? Okay, it's pretty cool. New costumes. Now, I didn't mention this in my previous video. Please go watch that all right now. If you are planning on summoning for Bond or you're planning on summoning for Arthur, I explained everything about this banner and the big catch with it. The big catch is, in fact, these costumes, these cosmetics are separate, okay? You have to buy them if you want to build out your Arthur. Yes, there are amazing costumes. Don't get me wrong on that one. But if you go and you plan on, you know, building out Arthur, be aware the costumes you have don't actually do anything, okay? They are separate. That's what it is. That's how it's going to be. You're investing in building that character just off of, you know, the newest costumes, okay? Keep it in mind, don't go and like, you know, start enhancing your current costumes. You'll have to buy new ones. That's how you're going to be able to do it. They also added two more bundles for anyone that is trying to whale out on them. Not bad. Again, I think JP also recently got these. So if you would like it, go for it. It does help you with Belmo scores and it does help you with SSR pendants. And it's just an all-in-one bundle. Pretty cool. Plus it has gems in there. So it's not that bad. Again, three costume sets, new bundles. The only one limit break bundle, the limit break material bundle. We also have a knighthood competition schedule. Reminder, we're going to have apparently knighthood competitions to open up to everyone really soon. So we will have to take a look at all of this stuff. I think they did say they're going to have new modes as well. So a lot of stuff with, uh, you know, for knighthoods coming soon to JP, then later on for global. So I hope you guys are ready for that. They also went and increased it again. Now a total of 64 knighthoods are able to join these things. Rewards haven't adjusted, uh, you know, adjusted due to the increase. Please refer to the link down below. So if anybody's interested in that, if you do, you know, if you're included in those top 64 knighthoods, you're more than welcome to go check that out. Draw pool edition. We now have Chandler on the regular tickets. If I were you, you got those tickets saved up. I made a video talking about, yes, it is time to save those up. I have about, what, 27 of them? So I will go and summon on this, and I can't wait to see if I pull Chandler. If I do, boys, we flexing today. We flexing today. I'm obviously not pulling it, but, uh, you know, I could try, right? I can always try. 
We also have ending events and bundles. The draw event for, you know, the festival, obviously. Uh, you know, Zeldris is leaving. So if you'd like to go and summon for it, go and summon for it. I know a lot of global players are, like, shocked that he's leaving. He is a two-week festival. That's how this one worked. Just so JP can catch up to us. That is why they did it. Keep it in mind, if you want to go and summon for Zeldris, he will leave tomorrow, okay? I want to make this clear because a lot of global players don't know this already. They didn't check the dates. They aren't aware. A few people DM me like, bro, why is Zeldris ending uh, this day? We know why isn't there a four-week banner. That is because they changed it. JP had to catch up to us. That is why they did it. They're again adding these heroes to, uh, let's see, Festival Heroes. Uh, added to Platinum Coin Shop. So again, the ones that are in the coin shop right now, they'll be removed, which is a thing just a salt melee, right? And I keep thinking JP. Uh, JP currently has the other units, the uh, regular festival units. But yeah, Assault Melee will leave the global one. And Zeldris will be here next time we have a global uh, Holy War Festival. Zeldris will be in the shop. So again, if you didn't summon for him and you want to pick him up that time, you can. Jazzy can. Two copies, just saying. You know, 6 6 Festival King. He can trade that in. But uh, moving on. Growth, uh, the, all of this stuff is ending as well. Make sure you guys go and take care of it. The Growth Support Check in Event, okay? Special Missions Event uh, Conquest. This one, please take care of this on your final days. Most of us actually took care of it because it was really fun. If you didn't take care of it, kind of sucks. There's a spin event. There's a Fort Soldiers special reward dungeon. There's a fight festival victory event. There's fight festival uh, point boosting event. Again, very, very fun events with fight festival. I hope they run these again. And I did really enjoy the fact that it's now consecutive uh, bo a boost, right? If you win one, you win another one, you win another one. It continues onward to keep on growing the points. Love that entire uh, change to the game. So again, great job, Netmarvel. Uh, enhanced stone perk events. We have growth, all of the stuff ending. Just go check this out again. And yes, I highly recommend take care of these right now. If you watch this at this moment, right? As soon as it drops, please take care of the special event. There's two of them. That'll grant you four gems. And we're going to be losing Tower of Trials Season 5. Did they mention a new Tower of Trials? Uh, wait. I didn't see them mention the new Tower of Trials. Maybe they take a week off, then they go straight into a Tower of Trials. They did say as soon as one ends... They start the next one, right? So we're waiting for six and I believe seven, right? That's what we're waiting for. But they didn't announce it in this patch. We will see what happens to that. And the uh, regular bundles will be leaving. That's actually a big cash I didn't see, right? They did say in the dev notes back then. Let me just refresh real quick. Uh, if they added anything. No, they didn't. So yeah, um, maybe I missed it. Overall, the vote is pretty nice. I guess you could say seven thumbs up. Uh, six love it. Two angry, two sad. Uh, I think the only reason to be mad is just that Zelda's leaves, I guess. But uh, yeah doesn't say that tower trials is here somebody confirm that in the comments maybe i'm tripping i think they did state in the dev notes that they're going to run it back to back with no break weeks so they're just going to go straight right as soon as one finishes they start the next one and that's how they said they would do it i could be wrong maybe they just take a break week in the middle then they go straight into it who knows again this is our first time of it happening uh like this so we will find out next week how it goes for global if we do get our next one or if that was just capped from the original dev notes that is uh what is soon to be found out so yeah Overall, very good patch notes, very enjoyable. Excalibur Arthur, there are a uh, final boss event. There's all of this stuff to go and claim and go and go through. Glo uh, Ghost Lake event, I hate those events, but they are now here. Yes, one of my favorite costume sets are here now. I love this costume set for Arthur. Bundles, overall knighthood competition, drop pool edition, and then all of these ending events. Please go take a look in game and make sure you guys claim everything. There are so many costumes scattered around, and you know it would be definitely worth your, uh, your time to go and take a look into it. And yeah, that's really been it for me. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, notifications on. A pretty stacked patch notes. We're going to have a pretty hyped day tomorrow. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are going to be going summoning for the one, the only Excalibur Arthur. Again, if I didn't mention in the video, Festival Arthur, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to saying Festival Arthur that I mess it up constantly. So again, if I did say in the video, forgive me on that one. Be here tomorrow. We might be streaming this event uh, when it does drop. Or maybe in the morning, we're going to summon on the banner. See how it goes. Hopefully pull something nice. Would be pretty cool, but that's been it for me. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for enjoying with me. It's been a real vibe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fabulous one, and I'm out. Later.